welcome wherever you are on this globe at this very moment. Come in, take a sip, and wind down with me. I'm Christopher, and let's knock out the Monday puzzle. But first, we are going to wind down with this fabulous Chianti, and it is... Well, no evidence of gas or sediment. It's very clean. It's a deep, deep ruby. And we have, like, you know, typical red fruit on the nose here, but I'm really picking up raspberries. And perhaps some uh, florals, like maybe violets, you know. Uh, you can definitely, you can kind of get the gist of the Sangiovese coming through. And it's got a nice balance of tannins. Really, that's a velvet finish. I might drink this whole bottle tonight. Let's see what I do with that. Okay. Long day. But let's jump into this grid. So what we got here, we have a Tom Lock grid edited by Joel Fagliano. And let's take a look in this thing. Let's see what we got. So... Computer suffix with soft or hard. And I'm thinking this is probably where, right? Um, don't use the, word, the term software too much these days, though, do we? I mean, it's kind of like we just don't. It's really just apps, right? Some Halloween decorations. We got a W there, so I'm assuming these are going to be webs. Oh, the tangled ones we weave. Let's see. Online alternative to a garage sale. And that's going to be either eBay or Etsy. And uh, just looking at here, A, T, A, B would work. Um, a, R, A, R, T, probably not. So I'm going to go with eBay. And then I'm going to check myself because you never know. Ready, willing, and able. Okay, yeah, good. Marine creature that can weigh over 400,000 pounds. Well, I mean, I think we know what this is right off the top here. I mean, this is a blue whale, and those are some ginormous creatures. Beautiful creatures. One of Cuba's Castro's, Raul. Picture taken with an outstretched arm, perhaps. I think we're talking about a selfie here. Okay. And um, quite a sight to behold. It could be an eyeful. And the forearm bone, well, there's only two. You got a radius and you got an ulna. I think we got the U already. And if it's more than four letters, it's probably going to be a radius. Uh, radio reply after Roger. Well, you know what? I was an Army officer. Um, brief career, about 10 years or so. Um, we didn't say Wilco. We just said Roger. Yeah. Copy, something like that. No. Will go. Soft mineral powder. I don't know. Maybe they say it in the Air Force. I have no idea. I was in the Army. Pioneering video game company. I think this is Atari, of course. Pioneers is indeed. Make a wager is to perhaps bet. Canines. Well, we know these are our teeth. Uh, not to mention dogs. Make as coffee, perhaps brew. Now, what do we got here? Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio? Yeah, well, it's the exact opposite of what I'm having today, which is a red, deep ruby red wine. Ruby red wine? Ru ruby red wine. Yeah, plus tax. Hmm? So, you're probably thinking, hey, clown boy, you want to start typing that in? I'm like, Roger, sorry. Got carried away with the Chianti. It is a good Chianti. Caboose's location is in the rear with the gear. One who snitches a rat. Big online brokerage. E trade. E, -t e trade. <laughs> it's been a long day. Slowly became appealing to perhaps grew on. This is uh, not showing a lot of evidence of creativity or cleverness, but it is pretty simple easy puzzle i imagine maybe maybe medium challenging perhaps depending on your precision your take on it i don't know i'll have to see what rex parker has to say when i'm finished with it but um i imagine he's going to say this is easy or that he did crosses only or something so we'll see shrek again an ogre get that every day along with an ole and start of a magic spell abracadabra boy 
about the Steve Miller back, didn't I? I want to reach out and grab you. Well, pi is one, the circumference of a circle to its diameter, and this is a ratio. For all you math people out there, admit perhaps is to let in. Let's check that eye. Teeny tiny. So I'm thinking itsy, as in bitsy spiders. Lizards with sticky toe pads. I think these are geckos, but because of the insurance companies, I almost wind up almost putting two C's and uh, paying close attention, maybe keenly aware. It might be open and shut. Perhaps it's a door, but we can check ourselves real quick. Bard's instrument. Yes, this is a liar. And a purchase for purple hair, maybe dye. We're going to have to check ourselves. Architect Frank Lloyd Wright. The Spanish joke in that is that his middle name is Yoid. Yoid. Two L's. Had to pay back. Owed. I know we had that yesterday. Two dealers want to play. You win. You win. Tabloid twosome would be an item. And closest island to the big island is Maui. Not Maui, Hawaii. Just Maui. Conventional wisdom says... Uh, point at an off-target spot. Miss... Aim? I really don't know. We need to check that big time. We only use 10% of our brain, for example. Now that is an absolute myth. We use a lot more of our brain. I mean, think about it just for a second. If you, if somebody held a gun to your head and said, give me your money, or well, I'm gonna pull the trigger. If you only use 10% of your brain, you might be willing to take that chance. But no one wants to have part of their brain missing, regardless of what part, because I think we use all of it. If, I mean, if, if, if not most of most of it. So, yeah, I'm not buying it. Um, uh, so, yes, that is a myth. I think, I think I saw it on Mythbusters a few years back. I think I was in Iraq at the time, and I just it was just playing um, on the uh, AFM, AFN TV. But I think I saw an episode of Myth Mythbusters where they were actually testing people's brains. I think they were using um, EMGs or myelograms, something. But it's like they came up with like 35% just for working through a hard problem. And uh, so, yeah. And as a cognitive scientist, I take this relatively seriously. It's your brain. We use it. So, you know, the other myth that they solved on Mythbusters is that bulls have no grace in China shops. It turns out they are remarkably graceful animals. So, um, good on the bulls, right? If you haven't seen that, you might want to YouTube it or, you know, whatever. You know, buy, buy the season of Mythbusters, but good stuff. Okay, high point. It's going to either be Ac Apex or Acme, and I don't know. Let's just see here. Public uproar or a phonetic hint to the words, to, two, to the two words in 17, 28, and 48 across. So it bust, yeah, I don't... I don't know. Let's see. Maybe myth is wrong, but it is a myth. I failed to include. Okay, this is probably omit. That's feeling better. Fit well together. Maybe mesh. Uh, colored part of the eye is the iris. Mine are green. And uh, let's see. High point. Yes, we got to spell that for us. It's going to be an acme. And let's see, accumulate is probably to amass. And mama's boys, that always kind of throws me, like what is, it, what is it, what's a mama's boy, you know? Long stretch of time, maybe an eon. Cupid's Greek counterpart is Eros. If you haven't done it already, memorize your Roman and your Greek gods for at a minimum, then step into your Hindu gods and your Norse gods because they'll be a huge advantage to you as you're solving grids in the future, just so you know. Multinational currency, well, we could pronounce that as an ojo here, um, in Germany. So public uproar. Ugh, I don't really know. 
rue and cry? I mean, who? I have no idea. Reasons to scratch one's head. Okay, so maybe itches? So it's hue and cry. All right. Never heard that before in my life. Uh, I'm not saying it's not. Uh, this must be deletes. Just saying I haven't heard of it. And I don't. I'm not guilty of having heard everything at all. So I'm far too young for that. Audience is the Nielsen ratings measure. Picnic playwright William Ng. Tall stories, tall tales. Two part sounds like duel to me. Way in which a word is employed. Well, those of us who are linguists on this planet love to talk about usage. That's why most of us are descriptive uh, grammarians, right? You know, we're not uh, prescriptive. You can say and do what you want to do. If it communicates something, all of a sudden it becomes part of the language. Regardless, I don't have to like it, but that's what it is. Okay, bear in constellation names is Ursa. Um, completely Ursa Major, Ursa Major impact that one might bear and that's probably the brunt and we got be up against is to a butt and let's get on up to the top here let's try to finish this thing off here dancing queen now that's stuck in my head forever boots from office maybe ousts better check that though ignore that change to a proofreader is stet you know that moment when you're proofing something that someone's giving you and then you're like, oh, it's awful. Then you realize it's great. Then you have to write stet over that. Yeah. No bueno. Measure twice, cut once. Spanish appetizer, tapa. And then we'll see a few. Uh -huh. Lift competitor, of course, Uber scene that doesn't make it into the movie and this would be an outtake and let's see german sub in world war ii fighting and that would be a u-boat das boat a few maybe some what do we got here is arizona state yes is in tempe arizona a few looks like it is going to be some and what do we got here product from milk bone or pepperoni looks like a dog treat Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Thinking about the dogs. Ring surrounding a nipple, and that would be an areola. And so this would be black ball to bar from joining a club. And what do we got here? One end of a battery, of course, anode. An anode. Now, hairless would be bald. Like me, flying high, fly high would be to soar. So did I fat figure something or did we get through this thing? How'd I do, Bob? Oh, good. 11.43. Again, not a bad way to spend a Monday afternoon. Uh, so get your app out and do the puzzle with me. Pause it as much as you want. Um, you know, I have a technique for getting through them. And maybe if you don't, maybe you could learn from that. Maybe you could compare them. Maybe you could leave me a note and tell me how stupid my technique is or how awesome it is or regardless or how much yours is better and why I should do puzzles like you do because uh, I'm open to anything. Anyway, um, do your best today to be nice to others. Let them in on the freeway. Let them into the elevator. Hold the door open for them at the uh, quick trip or the racetrack. You know, all those places that uh, I kind of miss back back in the States. But uh, no, I don't know. Yeah, I miss them a little bit. I think racetrack especially, or quick trip, maybe both. They seem like very nice gas stations. Um, but yeah, just do your best to be nice to each other. Be kind and be kind to yourself. Um, that's just as important. And uh, remember, one of the ways that we can do this is by learning how to say common courtesies in other languages that we might be encountering on a regular basis and not just the language of the land right where you're at the predominant language the united states does not have an official language and that's a wonderful thing i mean we're a nation of immigrants so but if you run into somebody that doesn't know uh, that, that great in english right you know maybe they're not that good in spanish or whatever the case may be whatever your language uh, learn how to talk to them in other languages in their languages you know and so just be very simple very basic things like hello and goodbye right so on the goodbye note arrivederci au revoir auf wiedersehen Aloha, um, ciao, shalom, masalamati, anyang hiya seo, tambiet, ben lap guy, and uh, did I say anyang hiya seo, tambiet? 
I guess that probably covered them then, right? I might have missed something in there or something somewhere along the way. Did aloham? I don't know. Shalom. Bye. Hey, have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you for tomorrow's grid. Cheers.